Welcome everyone to Crafty Beach. This is Julie and I have 12 new Christmas ornament DIYs for you all with a coastal flair. I like to do my Christmas tree like pure theme coastal shocker right but it's kind of early it's October so I don't have my Christmas tree out yet so I wanted to display my ornaments on a Christmas tree for y'all so I actually found this little Christmas tree at Target Dollar Spot for five dollars it's a really nice size little flocked Christmas tree so we're gonna start with that so we have a nice way to display these Christmas ornaments isn't it cute? It's not, it's a lot fuller than um, what you're going to get from Dollar Tree, but for $5, I thought it was definitely a good deal. Now, definitely open this like over the trash or over some area where, um, you know, it's going to get kind of messy because it's flocked. And so I'm just going to pop the little stands on and it's going to be ready to go. All I got to do is open it up. But again, that flock does come off a little bit when you're first setting it up, if you're going to grab one of these, but I highly recommend them. I think they're really cute and I can probably uh, sit this like, I don't know. I don't wonder how this would hold up outside. Maybe in my Florida room, it's definitely going to have a home because it's really cute. So we got that all set up and then we can start crafting Christmas ornaments. So this is the first one we're gonna do. I found this great burlap cardinal uh, Christmas ornament at Dollar Tree and I noticed that the back was plain burlap and I thought that was just begging for a coastal remake. Now, I kinda wanna disguise the back you know, you're probably not going to be able to see it, but I'm just going to pop those stones off and just kind of paint over that cardinal just because I like to have a finished back on my projects. But you could probably totally leave it and not even see it. So I'm just going to paint over the design with some ivory. Now, you'll notice I used my heat gun to get those stones off. Be very careful. There is a very thin plastic ornament underneath the burlap that will melt. And the reason I know that is because this is my second attempt at doing this. The first time I went to um, dry this and it totally melted it inside. <laughs> so I'm just using a tiny brush and some ivory acrylic and just doing a circle, my best circle, and then filling that in with ivory. Now, since it has that plastic ornament underneath the burlap, I do like go over it several times to try to like paint that ivory as well to make sure it's like as bold as I can get it. Kind of using a brush to kind of get down in there in between the fabric fibers. And it doesn't have to be perfect. What we're making here is just a sand dollar. So just getting my best circle. I want to leave like the burlap around the edges. And this particular ornament also has a great like burlap ribbon around it, which looks very coastal. So I got that all on there. I'm not gonna use my heat gun. I'm gonna let this air dry for sure. I had that problem on a couple of these ornaments from the Dollar Tree. And then check out this sand dollar that I found. Um, I found this when we went to St. Petersburg recently and um, I'm gonna use it for reference. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use like a brown paint pen and I get these paint pens on Amazon. I'll try to remember to post a link below. And I am just going to draw those little slots on super easy. The star, the starfish, the sand dollar has five slots. 
So it kind of has four that kind of go out to the side and then it kind of has one in the middle. And since this was round, I thought this would be a perfect sand dollar, but you know, you could always do a starfish or whatever. You could even use like a coastal stencil. So I got all of those slots on there. And then I thought to make it a little bit more colorful, I would use one of these like aqua paint pens. And I'm just going to do that like flower shape that's on top of the sand dollar. Just trying to figure out where that's going to be. It's kind of like the star shape. Just to add a little color to this and a little bit more interest. Now, like the fabric and the ribbon on there, and now with the hand painting, it looks really high end. Um, the only thing that I'm not liking at this point is the hanger. I think that kind of stands out and looks cheap. It's that really thin, silver metallic looking plastic up there. And so to disguise that, I'm going to just use twine. I get this twine um, at Walmart in the uh, big rolls like this. I often have to use a flame to get it looking better, but it definitely cleans up with a little bit of fire on there. So first I'm just going to make the hanger by tying a knot. Then I'm going to take another piece of this jute twine and we're just going to wrap that around the top of that to kind of disguise it. So just using hot glue, I'm going to start gluing that on and wrapping that all around and the twine really gives it a nice finishing coastal touch to this DIY and we have a total of 12 of these coastal ornaments today my tree is going to look so awesome this year and I was really happy with how they all turned out I think they look really high end they're definitely look like something that I bought like at Bell's or some kind of specialty gift shop very very happy with them and they all came from the dollar tree so that's awesome so i'm just using hot glue every now and then just to kind of secure that down i don't want any of it coming off and then also wrapping around the top until i can get it mostly covered and then i'm going to clean that up a little bit more with the lighter don't be afraid to use the lighter <laughs> you can um, definitely um, clean up the project and make it look a lot better and then I'm going to use my heat gun to kind of clean up some of the extra hot glue that was there. Then I thought maybe a few of these tiny seashells from the Dollar Tree will look cute up here at the top. So I'm just going to glue um, several of those on the top, just kind of like in um, three different ones, just kind of like over to the side a little bit, just to provide a little bit more interest and make it look a little less plain. And that's pretty much all there is to this DIY. Just trying to pick out shell number three. I spend half my time trying to figure out what shell I'm going to use. <laughs> but these are those tiny shells that come in the little glass bottles from the Dollar Tree. And here it is, our first coastal Christmas tree ornament. I think it turned out really cute. It's a little sand dollar. And this is how it looks on my tree. And I want you guys to vote for your favorite ornament today. So this is ornament number one. And you can vote in the comments below. Now, the second coastal Christmas ornament, I want to make a jellyfish. I thought I could use one of these pumpkins that I just got at the Dollar Tree. They're like the little burlap pumpkins. And I thought that'd be the really a really great top for a jellyfish. Now, you'll see I have the adhesive diamond wrap there, too. I was going to use some of that back-to-back -back for one of the tentacles. I end up not needing it. But the first thing I'm going to do is just take the clip off my little burlap pumpkin and take the stem out. Now, be careful when you take the stem out because it wants to take, like, all the fabric out as well. And, you know, I don't know if you'd really be able to see the stem because I'm going to have it upside down. But I went ahead and just shoved the fabric back inside with just a pair of scissors. And it gives me this great shape that I think is going to be perfect for the top of a jellyfish. I was kind of thinking what I could use pumpkins for. And I was thinking also like maybe they would kind of look a little bit like sea urchins. And I'm going to start with some of this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. This is the one with like the ivory squiggly line. I thought that kind of looked like a jellyfish tentacle. So I'm going to cut out a couple of pieces of that. 
and I kind of want that squiggly line. So I want it to be skinny. So I'm just going to go ahead and then cut them in half. And it's going to give me that cool squiggly line, like with a burlap kind of background. And I thought those would be fun tentacles for my little jellyfish. I've seen like jellyfish Christmas ornaments made lots of different ways, but I kind of wanted to give it this coastal like burlap and beachy blue vibe. So that's what I'm going for today. So I cut two pieces and then I cut them in half and that gives me four little tentacles. I think that's going to be enough. And then I found this great uh, light blue ribbon at the Dollar Tree. It's like a light blue skinny ribbon with like a white pattern on it. It's really pretty. And I thought that would be a fun touch for more tentacles. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that. And then I thought I would just kind of cut that about the same length as um, we did the other ribbons. Just to add a little bit of color. So I'm going to do a total of four of these little light blue ribbons. And I'm going to kind of put those inside um, just to bring a little bit more color to the project. And you know, a jellyfish has like lots of tentacles. So we're going to keep building from there. I'm going to use some of that twine from Walmart and using uh, the ribbon as reference, I'm going to cut out some pieces of that. I just started cutting um, those pieces. I didn't really know how many I was going to need. I do end up needing to cut a few more. Um, I'm going to use a lot of these. These are going to be the main. And you can kind of see how that twine like automatically kind of curls up, which is kind of kind of go with the jellyfish vibe. The tentacles are going to be a little bit curly. So I like that. So I'm just going to start hot gluing those on. So I have the pumpkin upside down and then I'm just going to start hot gluing the little jute twine first, kind of around it. Um, you got to be careful a little bit with the hot glue and the styrofoam underneath there. So I'm just trying to use a little dot, just enough to stick that on there. And I'm just going to start working around like one section at a time, kind of spacing out where I want those little tentacles to be. This might be my favorite ornament today. It was so fun to put together. So I decided I needed a few more. So just cutting a few more and finishing that out until it goes all the way around. It's a great use for any pumpkins you have left over from fall. And that looks pretty good. And so we can keep building on this one. Just kind of combing it out, seeing if I like the vibe. That's what it looks like at this point. Now I'm going to use that first ribbon that I cut out with the little squiggles. And I'm just going to add four of those, you know, your jellyfish, you can make it however you want with whatever kind of ribbon, but I really like the tan and the ivory on this. So I'm going to kind of space those out one on each side. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other ones to kind of evenly space those out. Just kind of working those in between the jute twine and they don't have to be perfect. Now for the colored pieces, I kind of want those peeking out from the inside. Don't want it to be super colorful so i'm just gonna kind of peel these back and start gluing these onto the underside of our jellyfish kind of where the design is like pointing outwards and just attaching that with hot glue as well and i'm just going to kind of space those out as well I was trying to decide if I was going to use three or four, but I went ahead and went back in there and attached number four. And we have our jellyfish built. Now, since it's a Christmas ornament, it's also going to need a hanger. So that's the only thing we have left to do here. I'm kind of feeling it out. I loved it at this point. So I decided not to use that diamond mesh. So I just cut another piece of that twine and I'm just going to simply tie the ends in a knot cut off the excess and I'm going to use a little flame there to get all the fuzzies off. And I'm just going to attach that with hot glue to the top of our jellyfish. Kind of already had a hole there from where the little hook was. And just kind of push that down in there until it is attached. 
And we have our second coastal Christmas ornament. I think this one was really creative and really fun. I think the pumpkin worked out perfectly for this. I was trying to have my son spot the pumpkin, all these ornaments. <laughs> and there it is, tentacles and all. And let me show you how this looks on my Christmas tree. And this is ornament number two. If you want to vote for ornament number two to be your favorite DIY, we have a little coastal jellyfish. Okay, on to our next ornament. I found this great, like, snowy fabric, I guess, reef ornament at the Dollar Tree. And I thought this would make a really cute, like, life buoy, um, life preserver kind of thing. And so what I'm going to do is try to take all of this, like, Christmas decor off of the fluff. This reminds me of, I've made a reef last winter with those like mop heads, the white fluffy mop heads from the Dollar Tree. It reminds me totally of that. And so I thought I would do a smaller version of that, make it into a Christmas ornament. So just using a little bit of heat, um, I get all that decor off. It's really cute decor. So I'll probably save some of that for some other DIYs, but not for this one. And it leaves me with this great, plain, fluffy, circular ornament. Now this is the Christmas ribbon from the Dollar Tree right now. It's light blue. It has little snowflakes on it. I always buy all the blue ribbon because it's totally my favorite color. And I thought we could just like do four ribbons around the edges to give me a life preserver feel. But you know, like the life buoys have like the rope around the edges too. So I thought I would use, I had a, like a scrap piece of this Dollar Tree white nautical rope and I'm just gonna unwind a third of that. It's gonna give me a skinnier rope and I can use that to feed in between the ribbons. So building a life preserver is like really easy to do. I'm gonna start just gluing that rope down kind of where the fluff overlaps so I can have ribbon there to kind of cover up that area even though it's not real obvious. Then I'm gonna cut a piece of that blue snowflake ribbon long enough to go around and over that. And that rope's all gonna be like one piece go stringing all the way around the life buoy and then just being kind of held on by these little ribbon pieces. So I just hot glued that ribbon to itself and then I'm gonna go around about a quarter of the way and keep continuing with the ribbon. I just went ahead and cut four pieces all about the same length. And then I'm just gonna hot glue that on there. I'm not really hot gluing the rope down, that way I can rearrange it as needed at this point. It's got that like curl from being in a rope, so I was kind of trying to work around that a little bit. So if you had something else to use um, besides the Dollar Tree rope, that isn't quite so curly, that might work out well too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put my third one on. And I'm kind of gluing the ribbon to itself. So I don't, I don't get it on there just perfect. I can kind of move those to the left or the right. And we have all four on there. Now I just need to secure the last end. So I just cut that to size and glue that down underneath the ribbon of the very first one we started with. I told you it was gonna be easy. And then I can kind of just rearrange the rope there on the outside to try to make that look as good as I can and kind of evenly space out those ribbons a little bit better. Now you could probably use that rope to hang the ornament, but I didn't think it would be quite long enough. So that's the only thing we have left to do on this DIY is add um, a hanger. So to kind of mix it up, I didn't really want to use the rope that I used. I'm just going to use some of this brown and white like baker's twine that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to cut a piece, string it around the rope, and just tie a simple knot. And we have a hanger for this little ornament. This is so easy, but I think it turned out really cute. What do you think? Let me show you how the little life buoy looks on the tree. And this is going to be ornament number three. If you'd like to vote for this to be your favorite ornament DIY today. 
Okay, moving on. These are the large glass ornaments from the Dollar Tree. They're not glass, they're, I guess, plastic, clear plastic ornaments. And I thought we could make a little beach. So first thing I'm gonna do is just remove the top. And I thought just to decorate it a little bit, some of these at the Dollar Tree say Merry Christmas on them and stuff. I kind of wanted a blank one. I thought one of these glass stickers from the Dollar Tree might look really cute on the front. So I picked out the coral piece. And I do go back and add some color to this later, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that on now so I can kind of know what I am working with. You could totally leave it plain though, it'd still be pretty. Then I got some Dollar Tree sand. This is the brownish sand. You could totally use the white sand as well. Or a color if you wanted to be bold. I do have like a blue, a blue sand that's kind of mixed with some other colors. It's kind of interesting. Kind of fill that up and shake it around, kind of see how much. I may have added too much sand because this ornament did turn out really heavy, which I think it'll be okay, but it may be a little heavier than I was intending. So I filled it up with sand and then using those little tiny ornaments from the Dollar Tree, they fit in the top just perfectly. I'm just gonna just do a variety of those in there, wiggle them all around. See if I have enough. I just want like a beach scene. And the top is pretty small, so I'm not gonna get anything bigger in there. And then maybe some of these little tiny starfish. I get these on Amazon. I'll, remember, I'll try to post a link in the description below for those. And those fit in there perfectly as well. And we have a little beach scene full of seashells. Now, some of the sand, I don't know if it was static clean. It wanted to kind of stick to the side. So I'm just using a, um, a paintbrush to kind of knock the sand off the sides. That worked pretty well. And then I'm going to reattach my top. Now, this is when I realized that I may have made it too heavy because when I put it back on there, it like wants to pop back off when I pick it up. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that in this twine like I did before from Walmart. But this time I'm gonna really glue the plastic and the top together to make sure that the top stays on and doesn't fall off and create a huge mess with all the sand inside. So I just start hot gluing that together, being really careful because this plastic is also very thin and will melt but I definitely need to glue that together so that the top stays on. And then I'm just gonna keep winding that around the sides, the top of that ornament, gluing it to that plastic top. I kinda wish the tops of these were made out of like a thicker um, metal, but it is what it is for $1.25. And just like before, once I get to the top, I'm gonna just glue that to the top and just completely disguise that metal ornament. I think the twine definitely gives it a really fun beachy feel. And then I'm gonna cut another piece of twine to make a hanger, just stringing that through and tying that off. Now I thought it was almost done with this, but I decided I wanted a little bit more color on there. So I do go in there and um, paint the little coral just to provide a little bit more contrast of the coral against the sand background. But I think it turned out really cute. I love the little beach scene and so easy to put together. This would be great for a child um, if they wanted to help you as well. So easy, just sand and seashells in there. So just using a tiny brush, I'm using um, some acrylic paint. This is Caribbean blue, I think. And I am just gonna kind of go in between the borders and just paint a little blue coral on there. And I'm glad I did that. It really made that stand out against the little beachy background and added a little touch of blue. And this is ornament number four on my tree if you would like to vote for this as your favorite ornament. And again, that one was kind of heavy. And I would love for you guys to come join us on Facebook. We have a private Facebook group. I'll put the link below. I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest at Crafty Beach on YouTube, all one word. And I would love to see you over on any of those channels. 
Okay, are you ready for another DIY? I found this great star ornament at the Dollar Tree and I thought this would make a perfect starfish. Now, this one side has lots of stuff going on. We're just gonna ignore that. That's gonna be the back of the ornament. Too busy to cover up or anything like that and we can start working on this side. So the first thing I did was go over all the glitter with some ivory acrylic paint just to cover up that glitter and give me kind of a, a more matte background. Not much different color than it was originally. Now, at first I was going to use that little diamond mesh stickers, but I didn't think they really sticked up enough. I wanted to do the little bumps on the starfish, and I thought these stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree would be perfect. And they come like in a row like this with the glue already on them. And it's a nice large bump. And I'm going to kind of do the rays. Now, a lot of starfishes like this just have like the star pattern with like the bumps. And so that's what I was kind of going for. You can kind of just tear these um, exactly how many you need. And the great thing is the adhesive is already on there. So you don't have to glue them down or anything like that. And I was just going to go ahead and do that star pattern like that. Now, originally I was going to paint this all ivory, but I really liked the blue color. So I went ahead and left it. Now I'm going to make a simple hanger with some of this blue and white baker's twine. So pretty. I got that at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to tie a simple loop. And I thought the colors worked really well with that starfish. Now I was thinking it was looking a little bit plain. So I thought more of the stickers might make it pop a little bit more. So I decided to do um, like three in between like each ray as well. Now, if you don't, if you can't find these stickers, you could use the um, smaller diamond mesh ones, but I really liked the size of the bump out on these. I think they worked out just perfectly. You could also probably uh, paint circles on as well, but you're not going to get that 3D effect. So I like that a lot better. The more bumps, the better. I think that looks really cool. I still thought it looked a little bit plain around the outsides and it didn't really have like any fabric or texture in there. So I thought maybe I would just border it with some of that twine from Walmart like that. It has like a little lip around the edges of the star. And I thought that would just give me a little bit more character for this DIY. So just starting at the top, I'm just going to hot glue like that twine all the way around the edges and just give myself a simple star border. Now they have more than one kind of star ornament like this at Dollar Tree that would work. Um, I'm trying to remember what the other one. I think the other one was kind of glittery too. Oh no, it was covered in like a glittery uh, fabric. So that would be, that would be really cute as well. But I was trying to do lots of variety. You know, we had our sand dollar, we had, we have a starfish, we had a jellyfish. I'm trying to do lots of variety for you guys. But again, using all supplies from the Dollar Tree to keep these ornaments inexpensive. And honestly, I could have bought any of these ornaments at Bell's for like 10 or $15. And once I get to the top, I'm going to also go around and cover up that little plastic hoop at the top with that twine as well. And it's fine that the back is still decorative like that. Again, it's the back of the Christmas ornament. You're not going to be able to see it. And I think that looks really good. We have a little starfish ornament. I'm going to go ahead and try to get rid of the fuzzies with my lighter. Just kind of burning that around the edges. And what do they call these? Like chocolate chip starfish? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think that's what they're called. And I think it's turned out really pretty. I'm really glad I left the blue blue. I love the contrast of the blue against the ivory. So beachy. And if you want to vote for this ornament, so this is ornament number five. Our little starfish ornament on the Christmas tree. Okay, this is another variety of Christmas ornament that they have that you can fill. Um, another DIY ornament. This one's kind of shaped like an upside down jar. And I thought we could do another like beach scene. I got this little, this is from the Fairy Garden Collection. It's the little beach one that says it's five o'clock somewhere. And it's got a surfboard and a gnome. The gnome has a red hat and I think he looks like Santa. 
Now he's wearing like a yellow bathing suit though and I didn't think that looked very like Santa. So just using a red paint pen, I'm gonna go in there and try my best to paint his swimsuit red. I thought that would make him look even more like Santa. Now this is so small, my paint pen did kind of struggle trying to get it all in there without like getting it all over his arms and beard and stuff like that. But I'm just filling out like the main portions I can with that. And then we can go in and touch that up with some actual paint. And I, th I thought he was the perfect size to go in there. But you know what else would look really cute in this is like the one that says the beach is my happy place, a little directional arrow sign, any of the fairy garden beach things would look really good in here. It's a perfect size for this size ornament. So again, I just went back in there with some red acrylic and a tiny brush just to touch it up because it was so small and um, that worked really well. He already has the red hat and the white beard and so I think he looks like Santa for sure. I'm going to go ahead and leave the surfboard blue. I like that color. And then the top comes off, but also the bottom comes off. That's how you can put bigger things in this one. But I don't want, I want you to be able to see it. So I thought maybe some of these wood blocks from the Dollar Tree would lift it up to make you be able to see it a little bit better. So I'm just going to glue two of those little wood cubes from the Crafter Square down and then glue our little Santa gnome on top of that. And don't worry, I'm going to fill that up with sand so you won't be able to see those. And this ornament is a great, is great since you can put bigger things in it. Now, I didn't really like the look of the gray plastic though. It's not metal, it's like plastic. So I thought I would disguise that with some more of that twine from Walmart. Just gluing that around the lip. I don't want it to interfere with the function of the screw on lid, but I just kind of want to disguise it. So I'm just going to just glue that on and wrap that around until you can't see it anymore. Now, I could have kept going with that around the bottom of the edge because I don't really want you to be able to see the gray plastic bottom either, but I thought it would be easier to probably cover that with burlap. So I went ahead and adjusted the twine all the way around the edges, burning off the fuzzies on there. And then I'm just gonna use some of that burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna cut a circle of that for the bottom just to get, finish it up and make it look extra beachy. So I just use a Sharpie around the edges and then I'm just gonna cut that circle on the inside. It's gonna get me pretty close to the right size. And then I can just attach that to the bottom with some hot glue. And that really took it up a notch and made it look way better. So he's looking pretty good. Um, so we can probably go ahead and screw this part back on. That's what he looks like at this point. And then since it has the hole in the top, I can then fill it with sand. So I'm using that brown sand from the Dollar Tree again and just filling it up till it goes about halfway up the sand on his little statue so that you can't really see it. It looks like Santa's at the beach going is surfing. <laughs> now, once I get enough sand in there, I'm going to use some of those tiny seashells again from the Dollar Tree. They fit in there just perfect and they're just the right scale for this project. So Santa can have some seashells too. And this project's almost done. I'm going to reattach the top. This one was a little sturdier. Um, or maybe I didn't put as much sand in there because the lid definitely stayed on once I got it on, that is. But again, I don't really like the look of that thin plastic metal, so I am going to disguise that with some more of that twine from Walmart. And you can use the twine from Dollar Tree as well. This one's just thicker, and so um, it's going to be faster to cover it. And just using hot glue, I'm going to border that around again and go all the way around covering the sides and the top of the ornament hanger. I really think the twine on the hangers definitely gives it um, way more of a coastal vibe and makes it look more high end. And then again, I'm going to cut just another piece for a very simple ornament hanger. 
I, you know, I have bought a lot of coastal ornaments and I didn't realize that they were so easy to make. Cause I mean, I put together 12 of these and um, I, I could have never imagined they were so easy to make. I could have saved myself a lot of money cause these turned out just as cute as the ones that I've bought. And this is his final product. We have our little Santa, it's five o'clock somewhere, surfing at the beach, super cute. And I like that it's a different shape than the globe one too. Just provides a little bit more variety. And again, don't use your, your heat gun on this plastic. It's very thin and it will melt. <laughs> so let me show you how our little Santa gnome looks hanging on the Christmas tree. If you want to vote for this as your favorite coastal Christmas ornament, it is ornament number six. It's so cute. Hey guys, I wanted to take a moment to tell you I have a second YouTube channel called Crafty Little Beach and it's all my DIYs in less than a minute. If you're short on time but you want to get a little crafting inspiration, subscribe to Crafty Little Beach. We're doing really good over there. We're up to like 300 subscribers, I believe. Okay, this is another clear plastic ornament they have at Dollar Tree. I wanted to do a variety for you guys. This is like an upside down light bulb, like a Christmas bulb shape. And I thought we could fill that with sea glass. Now, I found some crushed glass from the Dollar Tree, but it's kind of a darker blue. And um, I couldn't really find a beachier blue. So I thought I would mix it with some of those light blue pebbles from the Dollar Tree. And maybe that would disguise it to make them look like they're kind of both like sea glass, even though only one is. So we're gonna see what we can do here. I thought this would be a great shape for sea glass. So um, I'm just gonna try my best to get that in there. I found putting it in my hand uh, worked better than, I tried a funnel and that didn't work at all. And um, then add some of these blue pebbles, just kind of adding a little bit at a time, mixing them together, kind of seeing if I'm gonna get like the beachy look that I'm going for, trying to brighten up that darker blue sea glass. But I like the shine from the sea glass. And I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth with those and kind of mix those together. And it totally worked. It totally looks like they're like all like crushed sea glass, but I wanted it to be even lighter. So I got some of this bath salt from the Dollar Tree. This is white, but you could also get um, the white pebbles or the white, maybe even the sea glass might come in white too. Um, but it's kind of the same size pebble. This bath salt, and it actually smells good too. I got this in the bath aisle at Dollar Tree and I think it smells like lavender. And so I'm just gonna kinda do one color at a time and shaking that up to mix them together. And that bath salt does look kinda like a crushed glass as well. It's kinda got that iridescent feel. It's a little bit shiny. And I'm just gonna go back and forth with the royal blue, the light blue pebbles and the bath salt mixing them together until I feel like I have enough in there. This ornament turned out a little bit heavy too, I guess, of course, because it's full of pebbles, but not too heavy not to hang on your tree. So I'm thinking that's enough. The lid screws right back on there like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. So I think I'm getting that crushed sea glass look that I'm going for but I don't really like the silver top of the light bulb. So I'm gonna disguise it with some of that twine from Walmart like I did on the others, just gluing around the edges of the light bulb until I get to the top. Now it has like a cheap little hanger on there already. And I was thinking that I would leave that on there. When I get to the end though, I think I burnt it off with my um, hot glue because it does end up falling off, but that's okay. I didn't really like it anyway. <laughs> so just covering all that up with the twine. And then, oh, maybe I burnt it off with a lighter. That could have been it. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna make another hanger just by taking another piece of that jute twine and tying it in a knot cutting off the excess and gluing that down into the kind of hole that's left there on the top. And that totally worked. And I think that totally gives it way more of a coastal vibe. It takes away that silver element. 
and it looks like a little bulb filled with crushed sea glass. You can't really even tell that the blue is like a pebble because like all the shininess from the blue crushed glass and the bath salts really gave it a shiny look. And I kind of like it in there, kind of like not even just flat, just kind of to the side. Then for a final touch, I thought one of these little starfish that I get on Amazon, again, I'll post a link below, glued to the top would give it a little bit more of a beachy flair. And that's all there is to this DIY. I think it turned out really cute. What do you think? Let me show you how this coastal Christmas ornament looks on my Christmas tree. And if you want to vote for this ornament as your favorite, this is going to be Christmas ornament number seven. Okay, this is gonna be a really easy DIY. I got this this summer at the Shore Living line from Dollar Tree. It is a monkey fist. It's already got the hanger on there, so it's, I thought this would be a perfect, easy Christmas ornament. I found some of this blue fuzzy yarn at the Dollar Tree, and I thought that would be cute to kind of wrap around it, kind of like instead of a rope, um, just to add a little bit of color. Now, it's a lot thinner than I kind of thought it would be, so I'm just going to kind of tie it off at the base there to start. And you could totally hang this on your tree without doing anything to it. It's perfect. But I wanted to add a couple little beachy touches. So I just wrap that around and around and around until I at least get a little bit of something going on there. I just wanted a touch of beachy blue and a little bit of texture. And then I'm just going to tie that off. And then to decorate it a little bit more, I thought maybe a starfish would be really cute on this one as well. I get some of these molded um, starfish on Amazon. And um, I'm going to use the color white on that one. Just up against that, I think that's going to look really cute. And that's all there is to this. This ornament was super easy to put together and I think it turned out really cute. What do you think? A little monkey fist for your coastal Christmas tree. And I am so glad I switched to a coastal Christmas tree like, I don't know, five years ago and I've never looked back. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. There it is, complete with a hanger. And let me show you how it looks on the Christmas tree. If you want to vote for this as your favorite coastal Christmas ornament, this is ornament number eight. So cute. Also from the Shore Living line at Dollar Tree, I have some of these mermaid tails left over and I thought we could do a really cute Christmas ornament, um, a mermaid ornament. So I'm going to combine that with some of this deco mesh that I got at the Dollar Tree as well. It's like a light blue with like a white uh, pattern on it that kind of reminded me of water droplets. So I thought I could do something pretty with that. These little mermaid tails came on like a string with like, I think three of them. So super inexpensive. I wish I would have bought more though. I think I'm almost out of them. I love them. I've used them for every season, I think. And I thought it would be cool to have like, instead of just a plain wood ornament, have a little bit of sass hanging off the side of these. So that's what I'm going to do with the deco mesh. So I'm kind of like kind of laying that out where I could have like some of that fabric like peeking out along um, um, from the edges of the mermaid tail. And so I'm just going to kind of lay that on there and kind of sketch that out with a Sharpie. Kind of hard to draw on the deco mesh because it's so sheer. But it was enough where I could see where to cut it. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut that shape out with some fabric scissors. And then I, I've done this technique on mermaids and mermaid tails before, um, but I thought we could do like a textured technique on there with my hot glue gun. So I like that. I want to go ahead and paint it first though. That way I can do a couple different colors. I want a really beachy blue, so I'm gonna mix together Caribbean blue, half and half with some ivory, give me this pretty color, and just go over the top of that with a very thin coat so that I can still see that like mermaid scale pattern underneath. And I'm gonna go ahead and do both sides. Since it's a Christmas ornament, 
in case you can see the back. I don't want it to look sloppy. And just do a thin coat of that light blue on the back of the mermaid tail as well. Now for this one, I'm going to use my fine tip. Uh, I think this is my Sherbonder um, hot glue gun. And I'm just going to draw the pattern of the mermaid scales on there with hot glue. And that's going to give me a great 3D bumpy uh, mermaid tail. Um, I'm just going to let this set up just with air. You can put it in the fridge if you're like in a huge hurry, but it was like warm in my garage and it's still set up pretty fast. I'm also going to do like the little lines on the tail. My cordless hot glue gun just releases way too much hot glue to do something so intricate as this, which is why I have a second hot glue gun. Now it's already starting to set up and I'm just going to distress that a little bit with some ivory kind of give it a cool beachy vibe. The bottom hasn't really quite set up yet. So while that is setting up, I'm just gonna go ahead and start working on a hanger. I'm gonna use that light blue and white Baker's twine that I got at Dollar Tree and just string that through. It's the perfect size for a hanger. If you can get it through like that. And then I'm just gonna tie that off into a knot perfect it's already got a hole in it for the hanger makes it a perfect Christmas ornament and then that's set up enough now I can go ahead and distress the tail as well and I really love the vibe that that gives the little mermaid tail it's so cute and beachy so now that we have that all built up and painted we can go ahead and attach that deco mesh to the back of it I'm really glad I added this touch. I really think it added a fun detail. I'm just gonna attach that with some hot glue. Onto the back of our mermaid tail. It just made it look a little bit prettier and a little bit more festive. And just distressing that a little bit more until I'm happy with it. Then I thought maybe it might need a little Christmas touch. So I thought maybe some of these little jingle bells from the Dollar Tree would be cute, kind of just tied randomly to the top. These are some of the smaller ones. They have all different sizes of these this year. They have them in like the silver color, also in brass, but I kind of like the, the neutral, the silver color. In one of my previous Christmas DM DIY videos this year, I made a jingle bell tree. You'll have to check that out. It turned out really cute. And I'm just gonna tie that on that same twine that we used for the hanger and then string another one on there just so they kind of jingle and then tie that to my hanger. Nothing fancy, just a little Christmas touch to my mermaid tail. I was trying to decide if I was going to keep the extra string on there, but I just decided to end up trimming that off. And there it is. We have our little mermaid tail Christmas ornament. I think it's so pretty. And this is how it looks on the Christmas tree. If you'd like to vote for this ornament as your favorite, this is ornament number nine. Okay, this is another ornament very similar to that starfish one that we used, but this is uh, the Christmas tree one. It is covered in silver glitter. So I'm going to cover that up, but it has a nice plain back. Not going to worry about all the busyness going on on the other side, because again, you're not going to be able to see it. And I'm going to mix up that same beachy blue with Caribbean blue and ivory, and we're just going to paint that glitter paints really easily. It seals it all in there. You don't have to worry about it. And it's going to make it way less messy of an ornament. So I'm just going over the front. I'm not even going to begin to try to paint the back because there's so much going on over there. And you're not going to be able to see it. So just a coat of light blue on the front. And then I thought we could make this look a little bit beachier. I'm going to use that same uh, burlap ribbon that we used before from the Crafter Square to try to make a Christmas garland for our little coastal Christmas tree. I thought I could just wrap it around a tree, kind of like at a diagonal like that, like you would have. I was trying to decide if I was going to cut each piece separately or if I was just going to wrap around. And I decided just to go ahead and wrap around. Made it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to kind of wrap it around to see how long 
of that ribbon I need. And any of the patterns of this burlap ribbon would be really cute for this. And I'm just going to glue down the ends. Now, when I went to decorate this Christmas tree, I, my first int um, intent was to use like seashells for the ornaments. I ended up not liking that, but I did try them and you probably could use them. I just didn't really think I had enough like circular shapes, which I kind of really wanted to go with like a circular shape for my ornaments. And I didn't want it to be all like the same kind of shells, but that's kind of how it lo would look if you were going to use the seashells. But again, I did go with something else. And then for a tree topper, I thought one of these little starfish from Amazon would be perfect. It's just the right size and color. And these little tiny starfish that I get on Amazon are real starfish. So you have to be careful with them. They are fragile. But first, I'm going to go ahead and make a hanger with some of that light blue and white baker's twine from the Dollar Tree. And you could use any kind of string. And that looks really cute. It goes with the color scheme. And then I'm going to glue that little starfish to the top. Now, honestly, you could leave it like this. This looks really coastal and really pretty like this, but I did want it to have Christmas ornaments. And so since I didn't like the seashell option, I decided to go with wood beads. Now, the wood beads that I'm going to use are actually from Dollar Tree. I was so excited to find these the other day. Look, the real wood beads from Dollar Tree. They're not colored or painted or stained or anything. But... I thought it would be really good use for the really tiny ones because how often am I going to be able to use those? There's all different sizes in here, but there's these real tiny ones. And I thought that would be perfect. The color is perfect and they're just the right size. So I'm just going to kind of attach those with little dots of hot glue, just like little Christmas ornaments on the exposed blue part. And I think this was a really good solution to the ornaments. I kind of put like four on there, but then I decided to keep building, trying to cover up a lot of the blue area with the ornaments. Little festive touch without adding any like sparkle or any kind of decor like that. Those beads that I used for the starfish, um, stickers would be really cute on here as well. But I'm so glad that Dollar Tree started carrying wood beads. That is quite a find. I'll have to sort these out for sure. Because having all those sizes mixed together is going to drive me crazy. And here is our little coastal tr Christmas tree ornament. I think it turned out really pretty. What do you think about this one, guys? Let me show you how this Christmas ornament looks on our little Christmas tree. And if you would like to vote for this, your favorite Christmas ornament DIY, this is ornament number 10. We have two more to go. But first, I want to give you a reminder. Don't forget to like this video. Comment below your favorite DIY. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell to be notified whenever I post. Okay, our next ornament is going to be fish. I picked up some of these little wood fish from the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. And I just popped off the little wood piece that was on the bottom of each one. I thought we would do like a little string or a fish. I thought that'd be a really cute coastal ornament, but I kind of want them to be more colorful. So I'm going to paint them kind of opposite of each other. I'm going to paint this one with like an ivory middle. It's got like that slatted wood that makes it like a flexible fish. But it's also still super easy to paint. So just using a small brush, I'm going to paint the middle section ivory. And then I thought this fish could be the opposite. So this fish is going to have like an ivory head and an ivory tail. And super easy to paint that raw wood with acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree. It covers pretty well. And I'm just doing a very thin coat so I can kind of do both sides at the same time. And set it back on my silicone mat without really much of damage. Then I thought we would do like a beachy blue for like the other alternate parts of the fish. So I'm going to mix together Caribbean blue and ivory again. 
And if you really like this color, they have an apple barrel paint at Walmart called Cloudless that is really, really, really close to this. And so again, just using a tiny brush, I am going to paint the head and tail of this one blue. And I thought I would just use twine to like string these fish together and they would look, be a perfect size for like a Christmas ornament, a little stringer of fish. And then using that same blue color, I'm just gonna paint the middle section of this one blue. And I'm glad that I alternated the colors. It makes each fish look a little bit unique, but they definitely go together. Now I did have to kind of paint over the eyes on them. And so I'm just gonna use a black Sharpie to kind of make that black again, kind of stand out a little bit. But I love these fish. I've used these for lots of coastal DIYs. They're so cute and so easy to work with. You could also use the fish from the Shore Living line. Those are bigger, but those are already blue and white. Those would be really pretty on a coastal Christmas tree as well. So I'm just gonna use some of that thicker twine that I get at Walmart, burning off the fuzzies. Again, I love this stuff, but it's a little bit rough. And I'm just gonna attach that with hot glue into the back of the mouth of each one of these, like they're like strung up fish on a stringer. And then that twine is also gonna serve as the hanger for the Christmas ornament. I do want them to be kind of together though. So then I take that twine and loop it and knot it. So they're kind of strung together. Now I'm gonna go ahead and burn off the fuzzies on that. I kind of left those loose like that, but I did go back at the end and hot glue those kind of together so they don't move around too much. But I did want to add a little Christmas touch here to the top. So I'm going to use some more jingle bells. This is kind of maybe the medium size ones. I think there might be for like four different sizes. There's a lot of different sizes of these this year. And I'm going to use that same thin twine. I'm going to tie that off from the Dollar Tree and just string a couple of those to the top. Just to add a little Christmas touch because fish really don't have a lot to do with Christmas but they're gonna look super cute on my Christmas tree. <laughs> and I'm just gonna kind of tie that where I knotted that together. And I think that looks really cute. And again, I did end up gluing those together, but you can kind of leave them loose like that, but I kind of wanted them not to move around that much. I didn't want one of the fish to hide behind the other when I go to hang these on the Christmas tree. If you would like to vote for this as your favorite Christmas ornament today, this is gonna be ornament number 11, which means we only have one coastal Christmas ornament left. So let's get started on that. I wanted to kind of do like a round ornament, like a beach scene. And I thought one of these little reef charms from the Dollar Tree would be perfect size. It's got a hole in it. It's a perfect um, size for an ornament, but you could use, there's lots of uh, circular things like this from Dollar Tree you could use. You could even use the chunky wood piece from the Dollar Tree. It's gonna be a lot thicker though. And I am just cleaning up the back a little bit just to make it look better. Now on the front, it doesn't matter what's on there because I'm just gonna cover that up. And since this is wide, I'm just using ivory acrylic and I'm just gonna need a couple of coats to cover up that welcome and the little bicycle that was on there. I love these little reef char charms. Often mine are like with the like um, fake plants and like the spring summer section sometimes. So once I get that on there, I thought we could try to do like maybe a little beach scene on here. So to do that, I'm just gonna use whatever colors of blue I have laying around and we're just gonna alternate different shades of blue, kind of at a fun little angle and um, just kind of make that look like a beach scene. For the sand, I'm not gonna use paint. I thought we could use actual sand cause that would be super fun. And I'm just using a wet wipe to kind of blend those all together. And whenever you're doing a beach scene like that, it's so easy, just different shades of blue, kind of like in lines. I always like to kind of have like a horizon line. So I'm gonna use some of that little darker, uh, I think that's lake blue for kind of like a little bit of a horizon line and kind of a wavy line here for the shore where the waves come crashing in. And I wanted it to look a little bit rustic too. So I did sand that down a little bit 
to bring a little bit of that white back out. Maybe a little waves or sea foam. And then I'm just going to use some school glue at the bottom section so we can attach some sand. I thought that would be a fun little texture and touch to this little beach ornament. So I do a fairly thick layer of school glue and then I'm using that brown sand from the Dollar Tree and gluing that down. That actually worked really well. I did want to do another coat though. So I used some of the spray glue also from Dollar Tree and glue that on and sprinkle on some of the sand that had fallen off. And another spray of that to seal that down. And then just cleaning up any extra that's on my little ocean part. Super easy, fun little beach scene we got going on there. And of course, we're going to add like maybe a few seashells to that and decorate this a little bit more. I'm just trying to make sure that there is no sand like along the edges glued on or on the beachy area. And again, I'm going to use some of these seashells from the Dollar Tree. Pick out a couple that are going to fit well on our beach. And when you glue to the sand like this, you have to use a big pile of hot glue so that you can glue kind of all the way down to that charm. Because if you just glue to the sand, it's just going to fall off. I'm just picking out a couple that'll fit. It's not a very big ornament, so we're not going to get a whole lot on here. So that provides another little 3D texture. And then I thought to decorate it, I would use another one of these glass stickers from the Dollar Tree. This is a big starfish. I thought it was kind of the perfect size. I'm going to kind of put it over to the side like that. It barely fits, but we're going to make it work. And you could use anything on there. You could use a word. You could freehand paint something on there. I just wanted another little decorative piece for that. I'm going to kind of distress it a tiny bit. Didn't distress too well. But I kind of wanted my water to be distressed as well. And then I dried that. And then I thought some of those beads that we used earlier for that starfish would provide that great like bumpy texture. Even though it's already got the circles on there, just to provide another little texture to it. And I think that looks really cute. So I'm just going to do like the star pattern on this one. It was a smaller starfish than before. And the color on these are perfect. Now, if you find these, but you find them in a different color, you could totally paint them. But this is all I have left of these. I'm going to have to look for more of these. These were great for crafting. It's looking really cute. And um, we're going to need to make a hanger for this ornament as well. I'm going to use some of that twine from the um, Walmart. <laughs> I'm so used to saying Dollar Tree. And tie off a simple hanger on there. Super easy. And I think this ornament turned out really cute. What do you guys think about our final Christmas ornament today? I think it's so cute. And I'm just kind of making sure my sand is all around the edges and I love it. Let me show you how this ornament looks on the Christmas tree. If you would like to vote for this ornament as your favorite, this is ornament number 12. So pretty. Hey guys, I wanted to give a huge thank you to the following Crafty Beach Bums for sending me super thanks under my videos. I am a small channel here on YouTube and I really appreciate the support. And also some of you guys have bought me a coffee with the link that's in my video description. And I would really like to say thank you to you guys as well. I appreciate you guys so much. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. can hang out on the beach without freezing yeah isn't that amazing in christmas times we'll be chilling and having a good good time doesn't matter if the snow is falling can
for watching today and I would love it if you would continue watching YouTube thinks that you would like the following video that I've made here Hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion let's go to the ocean yeah let's go outside we can hang out on the beach without